What's up, everyone? This is All Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4. Trying to do an intro in this cramped room, not the greatest of ideas. Last time, we went to save Rise. We managed to confront her shadow, and thanks to Teddy, Rise was able to face her other self. And she got a persona, Himiko. Teddy then had his own doubts and we had to fight his shadow. But we managed to overcome that as well. And now Teddy has a persona, Kin Tokidoji. In this episode, we are simply waiting for Risei to recover. We've got a long time before she's able to really tell us anything. But that at least gives us an opportunity to continue to raise our stats and social links. And hey, since it's Sunday, you all know what that means! And this time I actually have money. So what's on Tanaka's program today? A myth-like sword! I'm pretty sure this is the only place in the game where you can actually get that weapon. And I'm not sure it's really all that great either. The other thing is purifying salts and two Singaki rices. Ooh. Um. Well, I'll probably not use the purifying salts, but at the very least, it does give me another sticker. So I'll go ahead and get that. Besides, it's not that expensive. Okay. So, yeah. Not really too much. What exactly does the purifying rice even do? Um, purifying salt. It's basically a Dekunda. Alright. I'm not gonna have Matador forever. So I suppose that that's a good thing to get. It's also something I need to remember that I have. Okay, so what exactly are we going to be doing today? Well, I already did my Persona preparation before we fought Shadow Rise and Shadow Teddy. However, we do need to head on over to Daidara in order to sell some crap. But before we do that, we are heading on over to the Samigawa Floodplain. Because we still need to talk to the boy. Oh. Oh. Alright, so the boy was actually able to make some friends. Well, that's good to hear. And there we go. Now we just need to return to the fox. Okay, well, we won't be able to turn in all of our quests, but there are a few things that we can do, like turning in the key. Here, I found this. Ow. Well, all's well that ends well, I suppose. Uh, sure? 
Okay, that is actually a lot more important than what you might think. And, well, it's pretty obvious considering that the text changed colors. But hey, for doing this, we get a good amount of knowledge. And courage. So yeah, a few stat boosts and actually some rather nice advice. What she said before about like telling people what they want to hear, that's kind of what you need to do in terms of social links anyway. The point of the social link isn't exactly to solve their problems. Although they do, you help them realize the solution to their problems on their own. But you're not there to solve their problems. You're just there to be almost a reflection of what that person wants to be. Or who they are. That's what she meant by that first bit about like telling a girl what she wants to hear. Now, as opposed to the other bit, that is also important. During some of our social links, specifically female classmates, there will be a point in the social link that will determine whether or not we will actually be able to date them. So, once we reach a certain point in the social link, unlike in Persona 3 where you are pretty much forced to because that's how the social link progresses, the social link splits depending on your actions for, well, dating. Now, I will s Now, just because you date one girl doesn't necessarily stop you from dating anyone else. Now, is there a consequence to this? No. There's not really any consequences to your actions if you date multiple girls. They changed this in Golden. Oh boy, did they change that in Golden. So yeah, in this game, there isn't really a consequence in dating multiple girls. However, despite that, I will not be going down that route. There are plenty of playthroughs out there that go for the harem route and well, that's not what the point of this is. The point of this playthrough is to basically put myself in the main character's shoes. So anything that isn't a mandatory option is something that I would respond as that, as our main character. As such, we aren't going to be going down that route and dating multiple girls. I think it's also a bit more interesting since you, it also gives an option to seeing how some of the friend routes go. So, just know that I won't be dating all the girls. By the end of the game, we will have, well, by the end of the game, hopefully we'll have a girlfriend, but that's all that it would be, it would be a single girl. Who is it gonna be? I'm not gonna say. Okay, so now that we are here in Daidara, now it's time for us to sell our crap. So we've got a lot of items to sell, so I will go ahead and sell these, and I'll show you guys what these items entail. Starting with this rare material. So for the fourth girl's talc, we get the Rain Skinner. Next are the Thick Hides, which is actually rather important. We needed 10 of these because if we give Daidara 10 of these hides... He will get us the Hard Boots. This is important. Alright, I'm just gonna go through the rest of these and if we... If he makes anything, I will show it to you guys. From the smooth fabric, we get Hard Bolero. From the fourth voice talc, 
we get the Arazuyu fan. From the curious line, we get a Miyori shirt. From the heavy iron lump, we get a steel plate. All right, I completely forgot what that item was called, but whatever, we got the kazooka from it. From the passion clap, we get Teseb. From the Zero Cloth, we get Zero Kasone. From the Life Caller, we get a Land Badge. From the lamp, we get a battle camisole, which we already had. From the other lamp, we get heavy heels. From the pure iron lump, we get Zweihander. And that does it. We're actually looking pretty well in terms of money. So now we can go and see what we can do about outfitting our characters. And boy, do we have a lot of stuff. So in terms of weapons, we now have a new weapon for our character, the Zweihander. A little bit extra endurance, a little bit extra attack power and hit percentage. Uh, that's tempting. I might go for it, but I want to see what else is available. Yosuke has the Rain Skinner and the Kozuka. Rain Skinner. Dang. Okay, this is actually not bad. So, this has a very high chance of inflicting any number of status ailments. And has a great amount of accuracy as well. That's not bad. That's not what I expected from a special weapon. But we also have the Kazooka, which doesn't have any effect, but it has a lot more attack power. Interesting. We have the hard boots, as well as the heavy heels. Heavy heels isn't bad for Chie, but there was a reason why we had to get the hard boots. In fact, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy these now, but not equip them. We are going to need these in the future. Okay, Yukiko has two new weapons. Our Arazuyu fan, that wouldn't have been bad in that fight with Shadow Teddy. Resist silence isn't bad with Yukiko, but there's not too many enemies that inflict silence. And then there's Teseb, which is odd? Plus for the strength, the strength is not Yukiko's strong point, so I may just have her keep the Suzaku Feather for now. And then the Steel Plate, which just kind of boosts Kanji's attack power. Okay, so not really too much in terms of weapons, though Zweihander might be something I get. Let's see, no new armor for the men, all of our armor is female, okay? So we have the battle camisole. Oh, we actually didn't have the battle camisole. Oh, no, Chie. Did Chie have it? Chie did have it. Why did Chie have that and not you? Oh, because Yukiko had the steel pannier and that gives her SP. Got it. All right. So battle camisole, no effect. A little bit better defense. Hard bolero, a little bit more defense. Miori's shirt. Lose a little bit of the defense. 
high evasion, though. Plus an auto Sukukaja at the start of a battle. And then zero Kasode. <laughs> Holy crap. Evade spells high. All of magic. Plus a decent boost to defense. I will go ahead and get this. That sounds awesome. Being able to just dodge magic. That is... Normally, you don't see an effect like that until endgame. That is amazing for where we are in the game right now. Alright, in terms of accessories, we did get the land badge, which... Kind of acts like a regenerate. It restores a little bit of HP at the start of every turn. So overall, not bad. A little bit pricey, though. I think I'm gonna try to hold on to my money for now. But I will go and buy Zweihander. It's a good boost to attack power and hit and evade, and I could always use some more endurance. So I'll get that, and I'll sell the Bastard Sword. Okay, so overall, a rather nice haul. And we have about the same amount of money that we ended with, which is also pretty nice. So we kind of broke even with selling our materials in order to get better equipment. Anyway, we still have a few more quests to turn in. Alright, we get 18,000 yen. So yeah, a little bit extra money. Not bad. And there's still one more quest that we can turn it. Well, actually, hold on. While we're right here, there's still two more jobs that we haven't accepted. The janitor and the tutor. We still can't take the tutor. I think we can take the janitor job. Let's see if rank 3 diligence is enough. Hey, it is! Awesome! So now we can head on over to the hospital every Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday night. Nice! Okay, so the only thing that we're missing is the tutor job. Well, at any rate, we still have another quest to turn in, and that's the coal. Fifteen thousand yen. I mean, that's a good amount of money. I mean, when you consider that a hundred yen is kind of the equivalent to a dollar, that's a very rough approximation. I mean, that's essentially a hundred and fifty bucks. Not bad for a high school student. And now we're over a hundred thousand yen. Overall, we're doing very well in terms of money for the time being. So that's all of the different quests that we can turn in right now. We're gonna have to wait until school before we turn the other two. So what exactly are we going to be doing today? Well, we did finish that quest for the fox. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. We want those discounts, and of course, we need to continue on in our, well, reign of quests. Don't worry. With a few stickers, that boy was able to make tons of friends. <laughs> well, someone's pleased.
right, and just like that, we're rank five. We are halfway through the fox quests. And we'll get a little bit more of a discount. Hooray! And now it's evening. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Oh, thanks, Nanako. All right, so what exactly are we going to be doing this evening? Well, I don't really have too much to do. So today, we're gonna spend the time fishing. We do need plenty of fish if we're going to feed that cat. So there's not really too much else that we can do. Unfortunately, it's cloudy and not raining, so we still can't get that huge fish, but whatever. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. We're just doing this to get fish for the cat. There we... Shoot, I... Damn it, I mashed X and not circle. I'm pretty sure that also counts as one of our attempts. Oh, this one's tough. Oh, this one's actually rather tough. Book down event if you'd be so kind. Missed it. Once again, expecting X and not getting X. Ooh, ain't a betrayal. Yeah, that counted as one of our attempts. Damn it. Whatever, whatever. It's not the end of the world. We'll get plenty of fish. Uh, well, this one's significantly easier than the first one, that's for sure. I would not be surprised if it's a goldfish. Well, I said I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, well that sucks, but whatever. We got a few fish, so that's fine. Wait, what? Okay, okay. It means hatred and jealousy. Maybe a motiv motivational speaker, King Moron. Oh well, we got some knowledge for once. So that's good. And now it's lunchtime, which means. Revolving door of social links, go! Who wants to hang out with us today? Oh, it's Naoki! Hey, Naoki. So we could potentially hang out with Nalki today. And that's it. Okay. All right, well, we actually still have plenty of stuff to take care of. 
There's still two quests here at school that we need to turn in, and this girl is one of them. I suppose she's used to it at this point, but I got you something. Oh, well, thank you. Alright, a few free ointments. That is actually rather nice. Those are pretty good healing items. So we still have one more quest to turn in, and that's the girl on the second floor here in the practice building. God, I got something in my eye, and it's really bugging me right now. Like, it stings. Uh, hopefully I can deal with it. Anyway, I got you a table. I mean, if something takes off, then maybe that's what makes it special. Anyway, I got you something. Oh, and we got two snuff souls. All right, so that does it for the quest department. So what else is there to do today? Actually, quite a bit. We're heading back to the shopping district because, for one, it's Monday! Which means it's time for us to buy a ton of sodas. Oh yeah! So let's go ahead and do that before we do anything else. Okay, and just to be on the safe side, do I have the persona that I'm looking for? I just want to make sure. Okay, I think I saw it among there. <laughs> just that way, it's still a mystery what we're going to be doing today. Oh, well, whatever. It's not really like it's that important. At any rate, we're still not going to head on over to our social link yet. Since we turned in that box quest, we can accept another one. So that's what we're going to be doing before going to do our social link for today. All right, Mr. Fox, what have you got for us today? Manly handwriting. Okay, an adult male. I have nothing to live for. I want to recapture the joy of life. Oh my. Um. Well, this sounds difficult. Not to mention extremely vague. Oh, well, I'll see what I can do. You're really making me work for this one. Alright, so where exactly are we going to find this person? Well, they're actually a lot closer than you would think. We head down here. We find a new NPC. Hmm. 
something to live for. And he ran a model shop. me to make one? Oh, slow down. Okay, we'll do. So now we have an unfinished model. So, in order to do this quest, we will have to spend quite a few of our evenings putting together this model. So, yeah, it just basically takes a little bit of time, and, well, we'll get some stats out of it as well, so it's also a boost to certain stats. I mean, I didn't really make too many, like, toy models, but there were a few that I had made growing up. I mean, they were just one of those, like, here are all the pieces, put them together. Oh, uh, almost, well, I wouldn't necessarily say a puzzle because you just follow the instructions, but still, I mean, I still have those. They were, like, based off of, like, the more popular Yu-Gi-Oh monsters. Good times, good times. And then I even got some from, like, in, like, a Japanese anime store. I know that's redundant, but still. That basically had, like, motorized Pokemon models. Still have those too, although the mechanics didn't quite work too well, but it was still fun making them. At any rate, what are we going to be doing today? Well, Naoki did say that he wanted to hang out with us, and we can find him right here anytime after school. Oh, hi. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. And yeah, that's why I checked. Honestly though, like, I could have just come here anyway, and it would would not give any text saying like, oh, you have a matching persona. And then I would just book it to the Velvet Room. But we do have a persona, so let's go ahead and conduct the social link. Yes. Ah, Ayaz. Now, a quick note, it actually won't matter what we pick for anything in this rank up, so feel free to respond with anything. Naoki? I don't know. I feel like that's something that an individual answers for themselves. I don't think I can tell you what an admirable life is. I 
I think everyone is. I mean... We all have to learn somehow. And that's all life really is. One big learning experience. Sorry. Uh, that's fine. I know I said that I wouldn't play like the the little sound effect when the sad music usually plays, but this isn't really that much of a sad moment. Oh well, whatever. I mean, that's the thing. It's like people saying like you have to live an admirable life for like one of your relatives who died. It's especially from a complete stranger. I mean, Naki should live his life the way that he wants to. He shouldn't just be shackled just because his sister died. I mean, there's a time to mourn, yeah, but there's also a time to move on and also remember the life she lived. There's a lot of different aspects to grief and part of it... Like, you can't just be wrapped up into it for the rest of your life. That would be probably the worst thing you could do. Right. <laughs> well, let's eat then. See you. Later. And now it's evening. Welcome home. Thanks, Nanako. Okay, well, we don't really have that much time left, but I think we can get through this evening. It's rather simple, actually. So what exactly are we going to be doing this evening? Well, we do have a fox quest to do, and so what we can do is that once we head to our work table, we could either do any of our jobs, or we can make a model. We are going to do that. Hmm, 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 hmm. And so yeah, so working on this, we will be able to gain some diligence. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we aren't going to get this done in one night. Unfortunately, this is a lot more complex than the ones I personally put together. And now it's Tuesday. And we go straight to the revolving door of Soldier Links! So, who wants to hang out with us today? Oh, it's Ko! Hey, Ko! Hmm. Well, it has been a while since we talked to Ko, so there's certainly an option. Or we can hang out with Nalki. Hey, Nalki. Okay, so we've got a few options. And that's it. All right, well, I did say that we were running a little bit low on time, but we can at the very least do one last thing real quick. Actually, two things. Because I've been forgetting to do this for the past couple days. We've got some fish, so why don't we feed that stupid cat? <laughs> I mean, that's something that we do need to accomplish eventually. We just need to keep going over here and feed the cat. Meow, meow. And uh, not any of the red goldfish yet. We'll give it a Genji Ayu. Like I said, that is going to take a while. 
Now, there's one final thing that I want to do today before we call it. And that involves heading on over to the shopping district. Because today, we can buy a brand new book! A new book came on sale. I want to say it's in the Timid Teacher series, actually. No! I was mistaken. Alright. We got short on cash. Awesome. Okay, with that taken care of, I think we're going to go ahead and call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play Persona 4. We still have plenty of time before Risei recovers her strength. So, we will just continue to develop our social links and continue to grow our stats and become a better person. I mean, after all, this inva investigation one way or another isn't over. So, we need to be able to be prepared for when this culprit might strike next. Risi might be able to provide us more insight on who this person might be. But regardless, we still need to confront them. So, we need to be prepared. So, until next time, everyone. Take care.